Assalamualaikum dan hi Today I will show how to extract data from a web browser or internet There are several uh, steps needs to follow Okay, let's start with the Python uh, setup Okay, there are two choices that you uh, can prefer Okay, you can set up a Python environment on your machine or you can uh, prefer to use cloud platform. Okay, in order to use uh, to uh, set up a Python on your computer, you can prefer to use an Anaconda. Okay, actually there are a lot of uh, Python platform you can use or you can download the Python uh, uh, SDK as well. Okay, uh, in this video I will show how to uh, find the Anaconda Python. Okay, search Anaconda Python then you will be uh, found in Anaconda website anaconda.com okay uh, enter the Anaconda website then you can uh, select the but uh, find the uh, download uh, section for Anaconda okay inside the Anaconda you can you can found uh, several uh, application so one of the application that we can use to uh, write the Python code is Jupyter Notebook. Okay, press button download and it, you need to set up on your computer. <coughs> okay, but in this video I will uh, use uh, cloud platform. Okay, in order to use the cloud platform, you also can use a Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda. Jupyter Notebook also uh, offered in cloud. Okay, go to Google and type Jupyter Notebook online. Okay, select Jupyter the op. Okay, here you can choose several types of Jupyter. Okay, there are the, uh, various of uh, languages that you can deal with Jupiter's. Okay, uh, now we want to try the Jupiter Lab. Okay, or the other name is Jupiter Notebook. Okay, here is the Jupiter interface. Okay, you can close the unrelated. Okay. You now uh, create the open new launcher. Press plus button. Okay. Then uh, select Python three. Okay. Here is the editor that you can write the Python code. Okay. Firstly, you can test uh, this. Uh, shell okay for example print i okay, in order to uh, submit the code you need to press shift enter or else you can press uh, run button at the top okay so you will uh, immediately uh, see the output and okay, now we can proceed to web scrapping okay firstly uh, you would like to test the item shell okay print the best uh, simple command Okay, so uh, it produce the output and is it it mean for 
Python shell is working. Okay, next we import the package of beautiful soup. Import BS4. Okay. This message show that uh, no module name BS4 means not uh, uh, installed with the beautiful soap. So we need to install first. So the instruction is pip install beautiful soap 4. Okay, it will install and now it's successful install now we can proceed to our code so we can start doing the web scrapping okay firstly uh, import the library okay use this code okay import the okay, next find uh, a website for example okay, for example I want to scrap this website newegg.com okay. so this website containing a uh, laptop product okay, laptop product various of uh, laptop products ok so uh, copy this uh, URL okay, now put in our code okay, create uh, variables to the code for this uh, for the URL then assign it Okay, now test our URL print my URL is it uh, assigned to the var the variables okay, now our my URL variables containing this uh, URL okay, we need we can proceed to next code Okay, this code uh, you want to get the content of the website. Okay, we try firstly we try to display the content. Is it uh, successfully um, uh, scrapped from the website or not? Okay, to print the page. For example, uh, the final output will store in this variable. So print the page soup. Okay, now we got the information from the page. Okay, look at the information. Is it uh, containing all the information uh, that we s just saw in the page okay especially the information about the product sometimes um, the developer of a site block uh, web scraper coding from access from the website as we can see here we can share about the website, uh, the item product okay we try to proceed next you get the specific data okay in order to get the more detailed data you need to go through to the website because uh, if we see uh, the code you cannot get is very headish unstructured data here you can as we can see here then we need to use uh, features in, in our browser okay we 
certain browser uh, provide a feature such as uh, view source code ok so we can get the information uh, from the source code or otherwise and uh, the we more specifically we can use uh, inspect ok right click your mouse button and click inspect ok so uh, we can uh, uh, walk through one by one ok for example uh, we can see uh, different div division and the ok and class ok so we need to find the cell for uh, one item ok item cell ok here item container ok maybe uh, we need to get the information about the, the container ok inside the container you can get um, image ok the other information as well ok this I think uh, this is the main uh, the container that we uh, find it item container Uh, try to print this uh, information that we already uh, assigned ok what I try to attempt to do is to get information from the container as we find before ok item container ok print the content ok we got it ok now we can get the information we already got, got the information for example got the information about the laptop ok nice ok now we can proceed to get more details ok this code is to get the titles ok as we can see here um, title of uh, a right site ok we inspect the, the title then we can get the title at the image ok through the image ok so uh, from the item container ok from the item container uh, this image uh, located deep inside ok div div a and image so from the container first div second div um, a and finally we find found the title img ok then we got it got this uh, title only for every uh, item in the page ok now we try to get the other information ok for example we want to get the details of the the information the description of the item ok so as we inspect we got the detail uh, Ok, we can get the, the detail from here, you know, thing pack, or bond. 
okay so we can use uh, this code <coughs> okay so in order to get the details item description we can get from this a a means the hyperlink okay a then uh, find the class of the a is it is a uh, item title so we can use the information okay, for example we can use this code x dot find all a is the attribute of uh, HTML element A. Okay, then the one in order to find the exact uh, which one A is uh, item title, the class of uh, A item title. Then print the information. Okay, we c uh, got this information. Okay, firstly we get the uh, model model the name is Novo another one is product description so you got the information about, about the product so we can try to get another information such as um, the price okay inspect the price okay usually uh, this price is located uh, under li so we can try to get the price using this uh, element okay okay we can alter this our code to get the price Okay, um, the as we can see here, uh, the price is under element li class price current. Okay, so we change to a to li and class a price current. Okay, print the item, the price. Okay, so uh, let's see uh, model product description product price yes we got it get the price so you can you can find uh, you can uh, scrap and other others uh, information from the um, this website through okay you can see the example of this okay another one I want to share how to um, store this information into a file okay so we need uh, to create a file okay, example we store the file into a CSV format okay the file name is uh, test.csv okay Yes, we just copy our code just now and okay, we add another sorry okay, we add uh, one code in order to uh, write into the file f as you can see here 
the file name is test.csv and the var file variable is f so we need to use this f f dot write okay the command command is write uh, write means we want to write into a file here then we okay okay so we want to write uh, firstly the model model Okay, so uh, we want to separate by comma. Okay. The second item is item list dot text. Okay, next. We want to separate. Need to separate by comma. Okay, lastly, example, we want to display it. copy the text, the price. Okay, another one we need to make sure I, uh, it will print uh, line by line. Okay, that uh, another code we need to is uh, to close the file yeah right after we write the file we need to close okay the so close uh, code is very simple okay f the, the f uh, file f file is uh, file f variable for file okay lastly after right after that we need to close the file so we write the file into the uh, CSV. Okay, here we go. So we get the information. Okay, as we uh, here we show the model, the information, and the price. Okay, the rest you need to um, rearrange the information. So that you get maybe it's quite messy then you need to uh, reorganize the data that you scrap from the website okay this file you can download or you can uh, then you can view on your uh, pc as well Okay, you need to process uh, this file to clean information that has a redundant or else. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you.